in the 2010 Olympic Games. A date has been set for B.C. Supreme Court to hear their case. The women have been told they can't compete alongside the men. So 10 female jumpers decided to sue. As CTV's Vancouver Bureau Chief Rob Brown reports, it is still an uphill battle, but one they are confident of winning. She set the ski jump record at Whistler, beating the boys, and did it again in October, winning her 13th national championship. The U.S. Olympic Committee even named American Lindsey Van Athlete of the Month. But as it stands, she won't be able to compete at the Vancouver Olympics. Only the men are set to soar in 2010. We're just asking for one more thing, the Olympics. Zoya Lynch is a Canadian jumper who also wants to compete in 2010. Her lawyer said she just got some good news. We now have a hearing date reserved. It's BC Supreme Court. Ten jumpers have filed a discrimination-based lawsuit against the 2010 Vancouver Organizing Committee, VANARC. The women claim because the organizers are getting federal money, they're legally obligated under Canada's Charter of Rights to include both the men and women's events. The suit may target the group responsible for staging the Vancouver Games, but VANOC insists only the International Olympic Committee can decide which sports will be included. VANOC has said that they uh, would be quite willing to host any event that uh, was approved and sanctioned by the IOC. But the IOC says there aren't enough international female competitors and the level of competition doesn't meet Olympic standards. We think not. Well, that's baloney. Didi Corradini is the president of Women's Ski Jump USA. She hopes the lawsuit will force the IOC to back down. Longtime Olympic watchers say she shouldn't bank on it. And it's going to be hard to see how one court in one country somewhere can tell the IOC what to do. The jumpers will have their day in court in April when they'll argue why the women should be in and if not, why the men should be out. Rob Brown, CTV News, Vancouver.